Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Firefly Tarot. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading for Are You Right for Each Other? This one, you're going to have to think of that one specific person, whether you are with this person or you're not. Just to see if you guys, like if you're already with this person, it's are you right for each other currently? And if you're not with them, like would you be right for each other, kind of. So... This question is going to be a little a little tricky, so the roles might be reversed. Um, so you're going to see that I'm saying the word someone in the connection. Um, with a reading like this, it's hard to get specifics, so just keep that in mind. Rules can be reversed. It is also a general reading, so it might not resonate exactly with your situation. So before we get into the options here, just, um, you know, when I'm when I'm listing the groups, just picture the person so that we can get narrowed channeled messages for you. Okay, so it's been a bit of a chaotic energy lately, uh, which is the reason why I haven't been back in a little while. I usually post like, I don't know, twice a week or something, but it, it, this feels like an eternity. It was like, I think nine days or something. It feels, it feels very hectic. So I like, um, after I list these, I'm gonna actually play you guys uh, like a little minute of my lovely singing bowl here for some relaxation, some cleansing. I recommend you guys to do your cleansing regularly. I have the, this is one thing I use, the Palo Santo. And if you have that or sage, open up your windows and get that negative energy out. Like, you know, do a little tidying up. I'm telling you this because it's been tough lately. Okay, so I just want you guys to be able to take care of you because um, it's been kind of nuts lately. Okay, so anyway. We have the four groups here for Are You Right for Each Other? Group number one, let me get this here. So group number one, we have, so all of these are the, the chips, okay? So the gemstone chips um, and the little cute jars. So we have group number one, which is Garnet. Group number two is Peridot. Group number three is Rose Quartz. And group number four is Magnesite. So as usual, take a breath and go with whatever feels right, not by sight. All right, and um, the timestamps are gonna be in the description box and in the comments. And you can skip the next part with the singing bowl if you want, but if, if you wanna stay for that, I'm gonna play it for a little bit as you make your choice. And then after that, I'll see you at your reading. I will see what you're reading.
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number one, which is Garnet. Okay, so let's take a look at what the energies are for you and the person that you're thinking of. Um, so yes, are you guys right for each other? So I completely forgot to say in the intro that you might not like the answer, you know, if it's yes or no, just keep that in mind, okay? Um, if you don't want to know the answer, then I don't recommend that you continue watching, okay? <clears throat> but we'll see what the cards say. Okay, so Spirit, this is for group number one. And the person they're thinking of, if this person is right for them, Spirit, please provide us with clear guided messages for group one, please. Group number one and their person that they're thinking of. Are they right for each other? Okay. So let's just get right into that question. Um, Spirit, for the people, for group one and the person that they're thinking of, are they right for each other? Whoa. Are they right for each other? Group one and the person they're thinking of, are they right for each other? Okay, are you there? Okay, so group one, let's see what we have for you guys. We have the star card, very interesting start. So here, it's either one person or both. There is a like a longing or wish towards that other person, right? So it's like someone's wish for, um someone's wish or longing. We'll take a look at who it might be. We have the eight of pentacles here, so this might be referring to someone or both people putting hard work into the connection or the relationship. We have the three of wands. And then we have the, wow, and then we have the Ten of Cups. So this is a very positive read so far. Um, so I'm going to say right off the bat, it looks like it's a yes. Because there's wish fulfillment here, there's hard work, there's expansion, and there's harmony. Okay, so those are all very positive. Um, although, you know, we'll see what happens here. But for now, it is looking good. It is looking like it's a right fit. It's looking like both people have an equal effort towards each other or that they would. It looks like there's a lot of consideration towards the other person's feelings and sense of happiness and that there's an equal sense of desire towards each other. Not even just like sexual desire, but just like, um, again, longing for that person. And again, here with the effort and the hard work, both people are interested in expansion and taking a good path in life forward, right? So really good start. All right, so Spirit, what else? Um, for group one and the person that they're thinking of, are they right for each other? Group one, please. Spirit group one and their person, are they right for each other, please? Oh, we got, a, got something that flips here. Another. Okay, interesting. So anything could happen, right, with these cards. So um, we have the Emperor card, and then we have the Queen of Cups. So this is interesting because although there are very similar goals, if you will, up here, it is looking like there is a bit of a difference in personalities here, so it could be a clash. With the Emperor card, with this masculine energy here, this is looking like someone in the connection, right? So that masculine energy versus this feminine one over here, um, and gender doesn't matter, by the way. So with this Emperor card, it's looking like one person here is very structured, ordered, logical, very direct and straight to the point kind of like that whereas the other energy here the, the feminine energy is the total opposite so this this queen of cups is an energy that is very natural very sensitive emotional flowing and intuitive so it is pretty much 
um, direct opposites in that sense. So we have here the Eight of Swords and, oh wow, and the Fool card. Okay, so, hmm, let's clarify that because that's pretty, so the Eight of Swords here is pretty much like the only sort of negative card, but since it's right next to the Fool, this could be referring to because th this one has to do with feeling trapped, but this one has to do with feeling free. So this could be just speaking of that. So we'll, we'll take a look. But someone here um, wants to be freed of that trapped way of thinking. And it could be talking about like how they view the connection. They might view it as a sense of freedom, right? It could be. Or it could also be talking about it. they feel like it's taking a risk or something. Or that it if it already happened that they took a risk to get there. Or it could be talking about that it's given them a fresh start. All, any of these things, okay? So take what resonates there. Um, Spirit, what else? Uh, for group one and their person, are they right for each other, please? Are they right for each other? Oops. Group one and their person, are they right for each other, Spirit? Okay, so it looks like we have a couple of scenarios going on here. All right, so we also have the Justice card. So something here was recently balanced out. I'm not sure who it was with, but something was definitely balanced out in terms of energies. So I think that that is exactly what this was about. So it's looking, it's looking like one of you guys recently got out of a situation where they felt trapped and they have this new beginning, this new leaf, a lot of joy and brightness here and they are probably feeling this sense of joy and harmony now more than ever that you know they've expanded this this might actually even be the both of you um we'll see but yes balance has happened very like very it, it, this is a fresh energy so this just happened it looks like we have the page of swords so yes another thing with balancing out had to do with this see the swords here had to do with a, so swords is all about like thinking and clarity here there was none, but with the Page of Swords, there is. So this was like a new beginning or an opportunity for clarity for someone, okay? And let's see. So with that clarity came the balance. And then the Six of Swords, someone moved away from something. So someone moved on or moved away from a painful energy or could have been a past connection could have been just something within themselves that they're moving away from, moving on from. Like, you know, it could be sadness. All right, so I'm going to clarify for you. But again, so far, this is looking pretty, pretty solid. It, it does look like there's a lot of, there's a, there's a lot of that harmony and fit, even though it's kind of opposite. So here it works to the advantage. It, it, um, like what one person doesn't have, the other person fills in, right? So let's get some clarity here. Um, what do I clarify? So let's take a look at the Eight of Swords. Spirit, can you please clarify the Eight of Swords for us? What is it doing here? Eight of Swords, what can you tell us? Why is it here? Eight of Swords, please. Oh, because, all right, there was a lot going on with that Eight of Swords. So someone in the connection definitely felt very trapped and probably a little miserable um, for a while. And it had to do with this person's wish fulfillment. And did you see how it just kind of slipped? Like there was this, there was this time where this person, probably the emperor, probably like, and this person might even be an Aries or a fire sign, by the way. So something happened recently where <clears throat> this person's wish fulfillment was threatened. And I literally how it, it just like fell. If you want to watch that again, how it just like slipped away. That is exactly the energy of what happened to this person's wish fulfillment. So if it, it could be this queen of cups, right? It could be you, if that is you. Um, in, in referring to you in this in this scenario here so something having to do with their wish slipped out of their hands and basically stepped away from them 
which, which is what, like, it's, it's basically just telling us what happened here. Let's see what else happened. Okay, we have the Page of Wands, clarifying the Eight of Swords, and we also have the Knight of Wands, okay. Hmm. And the Seven of Cups, interesting stuff here. So there's a lot of fire and there's a lot of fire and passion, but I'm also getting anger, outbursts, chaos. Oh boy, so you guys are going through what, <laughs> what I just went through. Um, there's a lot of, it's like a, like a, there's not a lot of, it's like burning here. There's a lot of burning and passion and fire and just chaotic energies all over the place. And I did mention that this, this is a fiery energy here, like it could be a fire sign. Something having to do with this. There was too much, too many options, too much distraction, too much fog. It could have been that it, some of you, not all of you, it could have had to do with like, if you were the Queen of Cups, that you had too many options in your field where it bothered this person. Only for some of you, that that's the case. So that was that's what was going on there. Let's take a look at some other cards. Um, the star card, yes. Spirit, can you please clarify the star card? What can you tell us about the star? is not quite so let's see spirit can you please clarify the star what can you tell us about the star card there it goes <sighs> feels so good to be back doing tarot tarot cleanses me ridiculously i missed it um so clarifying the star card we have a oh, Okay, we have the Hanged Man. Hmm. The Hanged Man. Oh, okay. So someone here, again, most likely this Emperor Energy, had to look at something in a very different way. And I do feel, because this has double a uh, couple meanings to this card, so they had to either look at something in a different way or both had to do that plus surrender something and sacrifice something, possibly an old way of being or doing, right? We have the Nine of Wands. There's, a, there's an extreme amount of, like, I was going to say burnout and exhaustion and, like, having so many, so many battles, which is funny because the Five of Wands came up. Look at the conflict, the fighting, the hassles, the, like, I'm getting the sense of, like, the marathon fight. Or, or like discussion slash argument. It just keeps going and going and going. So that's what happened recently, most likely for a lot of you. You have the page of pentacles. So it's like, it's as if there was some offering for something stable, but then there was a lot of conflict attached to it, a lot of fighting and exhaustion attached to it. And then we have the knight of swords. So there was a lot of, with this one, there was like this swift movement forward. There was like this impulsive thing, could have had to do with clarity and truth. Remember this over here before. Um, so that, that might be part of it. Um, all of this energy that I just mentioned is attached to the person that they're longing for. So if that is like, so if this is you in the situation, it, again, it could be reversed, um, but whoever it was that the person was longing for it, that's what all of this was attached. Like all the fighting, the exhaustion, uh, looking at something in a different way, and like offering an offering of some kind and something committed and stable. You can even hear the wind, like this is chaos lately. Gosh, I hope you guys are peaceful in your end. Like, let me know if that's just me or I don't know if it's just like what's going on lately, but um, let me know if you guys are in chaos as well. Um, what are we going to look at here? So let's look at the Queen of Cups. I neglected the Queen of Cups. So, Spirit, can you tell us more about the Queen of Cups, please? What can you tell us about the Queen of Cups? So the Queen of Cups, let's see what this is all about. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So right there, I can see that the Queen of Cups energy, there's attached to this energy, this person, 
is this energy of the Knight of Pentacles where there's an extreme amount of hard work. And see, it's funny because this card came up on um, above that one as well, right? So that's most likely speaking of, yes, it's speaking of both in the connection, but particular, in particular, the Queen of Cups has this energy of extreme hard work, focus, and determination, right? A lot of patience towards that particular goal. So that could be also, for some of you that might it might, might be referring to what was causing some of that conflict, just that alone, but I'm sure that there was much more to it, right? Oh, look how sweet. So we have the Six of Cups. So that's a soulmate energy there, or like a childhood friend kind of energy, and you know, spiritually speaking. And, oh, okay, so we have the, the Ten of Swords. So the, let's see, wait, hold on. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Okay. So there's a lot of pain and hassle and conflict having to do with some form of like communication or finding something out, a message of some kind. A lot of freaking pain lately. Um, not anything that knocked down the Queen of Cups over here, but um, there was just something very drastic that has been going on, like I said. So let me get some fresh cards for you from a different deck just to see if there's any other... I mean, we already pretty much answered the question, but like since it was just like a simple yes or no, we're, we're getting a whole story here. So let's see. Hopefully it's giving you guys some clarity, though. All right. So Spirit, what else can you tell us um, for group one and their person? Are they right for each other? What else can you tell us? about group one and their person and are they right for each other okay so definitely more balance so we had the justice card over here and then you have the six of pentacles so it is looking like very again very recently i'm getting that there was some balance going on and, and I'm happy to hear that because this is just it's weird because it doesn't show that there's a lot of chaos here but it's definitely there there's a lot of tones of that so what that tells me is that it has very recently calmed down which is great okay so you have that this is balance as well like equal give and take being on the same page again after probably getting shifted around shuffled and shifted around and then you also have the the king of swords so the King of Swords, again, having to do with sudden clarity and truth or recent clarity and truth. So definitely seeing a lot of that, which is good. So it's adding to the answer there that there's this equal effort between the the both of you to get towards truth and transparency. Um, what else? Can you please clarify the Fool card? What can you tell us about the Fool card? Please clarify the fool spirit. So definitely for a lot of you, there was a fresh start recently that caused a lot of, it basically realigned the harmony. So if you guys were together in the past, this is looking like a completely fresh start where it feels like the, the beginning of that new relationship that it, it cleared up a lot of this crap. It it, it kind of like harmonized things. And if you weren't together with this person, it, it's showing that anyway. It's showing that there's this uh, new chapter. Can you please clarify the Fool card spirit? What else can you tell us about the Fool? The Fool. The Fool is not speaking. Hmm. <laughs> okay. It's weird. Hold on. Maybe it's showing that it took a while. Uh, what, what can you tell us about the fool spirit? Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? Ah, okay. So clarifying the Fool, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. 
So someone was holding tightly onto something here. Like it could have been an expectation. It could have been a perception of the other person and not wanting to let go of that perception. Um, that's not going to make sense to everybody. For some of you, it, it was that either you or the person just had this stuck idea of something, which honestly led to a lot of the feeling of pain. But then you have the two of wands here. So with this new beginning with the fool, there was a lot of expansion. Remember, we had that over here. So there was a lot of expansion and talk or ideas of the future, not planning the future. That's well, maybe for some of you. But what I'm getting from here is like finally being able to move forward. That's what I'm getting, which is very beautiful. And remember, we had this. OK, so definitely moving forward, moving on from a lot of pain, a lot of like. Ugh. a lot of pain, disappointment, and for many of you that this was relevant, it had to do with this. So someone here in the connection let go of that past expectation or like idea. Hmm, all right, let's see what else. Anything else, Spirit? Are they right for each other? Anything else you can tell us for group one and their person? Are they right for, uh, are they right for each other, please? Right. Okay, we have the two of pentacles. And then we have the ace of wands. So an ace here, another new beginning. So pretty much, hmm. So with the two of pentacles, I'm still getting that back and forth between the both of you. Um, hmm. Again, I do think that it just has to do with the situation. I feel like there's still a lot of back and forth, a lot of maybe not exactly chaos, but there's still a lot going on, a lot of juggling there, a lot of balancing and juggling, and it, it is balancing out. It's just there's still, it's still going on. It's still not perfect, you know? So we have the Ace of Wands. So uh, yes, so a new beginning. There's a lot of passion coming in for the both of you, I think separately and together actually, you know? Um, so whether it's that you're working on something and you are, if that's you, someone here is working on something really hard, like a project or something, could be with work, it could be with self-development, new beginning. Um, Spirit, can you please clarify the Ace of Wands? Hmm. So clarifying the Ace of Wands. Okay, we have the Hermit. Yeah, okay, good. So we have the Hermit and then we have another Page of Swords. So the more truth and more clarity is coming in right around the corner. It's already happening, probably. Some of you, it literally might be today. That's how it happened for me as well. You know, just a little bit of calmness. Thank God for that. Um, the Hermit is talking all about going inward and soul searching and just spending time alone, like, you know, um, having clarity of mind, new ideas, or basically feeling less scattered, right? You have double uh, page of swords there. So for many of you, this could be a thing. It could be for both of you. I, I mean, I really am feeling that this is very connected. So it probably is speaking of the both of you, taking some time to just slow down, to reflect, to have clarity, just to sort out all of that crap in the mind. All right, so that is what I'm getting for you guys, but I'm trying to figure out if I should just, let me get one card here from, from this deck just to see if any final messages come up, just as advice, because we already pretty much got our answer here. So Spirit, what, um, do you have any final messages for group one and their person, please? Group one and their person.
Any messages for group one and their person spirit? Okay. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Own. So I think that it confirms this over here. I think that, so yes, you guys are right for each other in a sense that it, this is a good fit. Um, it didn't go too deeply into things like, okay, are they like the one, but it does show that there's a good balance here, that there's a lot of care, there's a lot of equal give and take. So, um, you know, that's up to you guys to interpret, but it does show that there's a lot of success between you guys in this connection. So I, I, so yes, you guys are right for each other. You guys are a, you know, a pretty good fit for each other. And what's even like even better is that like the both of you acting on your own and separately you're very strong in your own ways. So I'm not seeing here, you know, like that codependency. I'm seeing that it's like two very strong personalities that work very well together and um, have two strong minds. And then when you guys come together, it is successful. Um, and it is very supportive, very equal give and take. Okay, so that's, that's good. That's really nice. Okay, guys, um, so group one, that is what I have for you. I really hope that this helped. Definitely let me know in the comments what's going on with you. Um, I, I read all of the comments. It's just I haven't gotten that chance to respond to many of them because of everything. But uh, yes, um, let me know what's going on there. I hope this helped. Um, we'll probably do a follow-up reading and um, we'll see how these energies go. So group one, that's what I have. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next reading. Bye.
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number two, which is Peridot. So let's take a look at the energies between you and your person. Just keep in mind, um, so the question is, are you right for each other? Uh, meaning, you know, are you guys a good fit for each other? It's, so it's not necessarily going to answer like, are they the one for you? But, you know, it might be. So let's, let's find out. Just keep in mind, if you don't want the true answer to this, you know, just, you might not want to watch this uh, because we'll just see the the truth of the matter. Okay, you might not like the answer, but we'll find out. So Spirit, this is for group two. I'm just saying, I, I forgot to say that in the intro. It's always, you know, a nice little friendly advisory for people. So group two. So Spirit, this reading is for group two and the person they're thinking of. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group two. For group two in their the person that they're thinking of. Are they right for each other, please? Group two and the person they're thinking of. Are they right for each other? <laughs> All right, what a strange start. Hold on. Group two and their person they're thinking of. Are they right for each other? Wow. All right. I'm very curious. Um, you have as a start the seven of swords. All right, let's see what that's all about, because that's curious. We have the Nine of Swords, ooh, and then we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so I'm going to get some clarity, but the start here at, at the question of are you right for each other, you have an energy. So remember, roles can be reversed here. So someone here, it's looking like someone here is thinking, there's a lot of pain here, okay? There's a lot of pain and distress, anxiety, and overthinking and then an energy as well of something about exiting the situation so oof good thing i gave you that friendly advisory um let's keep going and see what this is all about the ace of wands could be talking about someone in the connection having a new beginning okay spirit what else um group two and the person they're thinking of are they right for each other so pretty much if that is the energy so far it's looking like it may not be a right fit, you know, but we'll we'll keep going because I have no idea how this is gonna progress, but let's let's find out. We also have the high priestess. So someone here is stepping into their intuition a little bit, which might be talking about why there's a new beginning here. So let's see. Spirit, what else for group two and their pers the person they're thinking of? Are they are they right for each other? Are they a good fit for each other? Are they right for each other's spirit? Please let us know. So from that shuffle, I definitely sensed someone in the connection is afraid to speak up. But it did it did happen. They did speak up. So you have the magician card. So it's looking like someone is trying to manifest leaving the situation. This could be you, this could be them. So pretty much, yeah, that does tell me that you guys are probably not right for each other. Let's see. What else, Spirit? What else can you tell us for group two in their person? Okay. There is another card having to do with a new beginning so again it's not looking like it's an energy that can really sustain itself between the two of you because we have judgment which is talking about a rebirth but it is a it's good news if it means that this is no longer going to be a factor so there's like i said a lot of pain anxiety and overthinking so if there's a judgment card that means that there's rebirth magician is also manifesting other positive energy other other positive things okay so whether this is you or, or your person, it's, that's the energies that's going on between you guys. We have the Six of Swords. So pretty much it's very consistent so far. So it's showing that someone is moving away, moving on and moving away. 
and then we have the four of swords so we're looking at a lot of clarity coming in after that period of rest a lot of um intuitive knowing and truth and things coming to the surface that were hidden before this all right um spirit can you please clarify the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here Clarifying the Seven of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. So it's looking like someone was thinking of stepping away from either the idea or the offering of something in terms of commitment or like, you know, like someone said like, okay, let's stay together, let's be together, but then that didn't quite stick and someone wanted to get away from that idea. And the hanged man is showing that someone looked at something in a very different light and saw the truth of the matter, right? So let's take a look at this pain over here. Okay, Spirit, can you please clarify the Nine of Swords? What can you tell us about the Nine of Swords? Nine of Swords, Spirit, what can you tell us? Okay, so it's looking like someone in the connection was very controlling or too rigid, holding on to something too tightly. This could be on both parts where one person was trying to control the situation or force the situation, and then another person was holding on too tightly to an expectation of it supposed to be a certain way. So I think that that's on both parts there, which caused a lot of distress. Let's see. Can you clarify the Ace of Wands? It is within you guys' destiny, basically, that you're meant to have that new beginning, possibly away from each other, you know? I don't want to say definitively, but it is looking like that. Oh, okay. Um, because you had the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is a turning point and talking of destiny. So it is looking like that was part of it. It was a necessary part of the journey to have that new beginning. <sighs> that, okay. So the Ace of Wands, talking about a new beginning, and then you have the Ten of Cups. So basically the new beginning is what's fortunate. Hmm. Well, that's good because this was painful. Um, so this is meaning that once the both of you have kind of stepped away <clears throat> and had that fresh start and have moved away, it is looking like, because of that, it being the turning point, it is looking like fortune is on the other side of that. All right. Um, what else? Clarifying the Ace of Wands. We also have the Queen of Swords and the two of wands. So yes, more fortune waiting on the other side of that. So you have a lot of truth, clarity, and feeling way more in whoever the queen of swords is, feeling way more in their power, way more decisive, and again, intuitive. There's a, this, this connection has a lot to do with intuition. See how similar their robes are? A lot of uh, having to do a lot with intuition, knowing what truly feels right. What in, even if that means like being together or apart, it's showing that clarity and intuition is a big part of it. And then this with the two of wands is showing a cleaner path moving forward. So like a clearer and more pure path moving forward without all the negative energy attached to it. Let's take a look at the judgment card. Well, actually, hold on. Spirit, can you please clarify the magician? Can you please clarify the magician? Why is the magician here? The magician card. Why is the magician here? There's definitely secrets here, or there were secrets. A lot of that going on. I don't know if it, I mean, yes, it could be, it could be deceit, but it's just the word secrets. It keeps coming up. Why is the Magician card here? 
All right, so, mm. so someone here is really manifesting a lot of wealth and independence. So it could be like financial wealth, but it could also just be like emotionally a feeling of stability and security again. So someone here is manifesting that. And then we also have the King of Swords. So I feel like a lot of that as well is manifesting truth. So we did have that over here with the Queen of Swords. Um, so the, the King and the Queen have shown up in the same reading here. And it's showing that there's a lot of compa compatibility possibly with probably, I don't know, maybe chemistry. But there's just, I feel intellectually, there's not a lot of compatibility here or emotionally. Anything else, Spirit, for group two and the person they're thinking of? Are they right for each other? Ah. Group two, are they and their person, are they right for each other? All right, we have the Knight of Wands. And, oh boy, and then we have the Tower. Yeesh. So we also have the Six of Cups. Okay. So with the Knight of Wands, there's again more fiery energy here, not necessarily a good thing this time. I feel a lot of arguments, I feel a lot of clashing, a lot of just feeling super, just like overwhelmed and over it, okay? That's what I'm getting from that. And then of course we have the Tower, which is very sudden and difficult and like pff, explosive, chaotic, all that stuff. But then again, once that settles and moves to a different direction, you have a lot of peace. A lot of peace there. So this is cool because what this is showing, group two, is it's showing you all about this person, but it's really giving you a sneak peek into the energies that happen after this. So this is this is interesting. This is actually showing a, a soulmate energy. I didn't expect that. Um, let's see. Let's see if any other cards come up for you in this deck here. What do I clarify? Um, Spirit, can you please clarify the Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? <laughs> All right. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, we have... We have, again, the Four of, of Swords. Oh, boy. We have the Death card. And then we have another High Priestess. All right. So, yes. It, it, Spirit is kind of, like, intervening here and giving you a nice message that part of your destiny and your turning point is taking that, that time, like, pausing, taking that time to really think things through and rest and showing that there is a very strong energy of rebirth that is at your hands that you can grasp. And coming into your intuition or, th I mean, yes, this could be talking about your, your person here, but, but there is something having to do with having like really strong sensing. So this could be just simply talking about that one or both of you know that things don't feel right. But someone is forcing things to happen, okay? All right, so that's pretty clear. Let's see what else, if anything. Okay, is there anything else for group two and their person? Are they right for each other? Anything else? Yeah, look at that. It's so consistent, wow. So, oof, damn. So again, if you're not even with this person, I feel like this is just showing a glimpse of things. So when I said it was consistent, look what came up. So there's blockage here. There's it, This is not a very smooth or harmonious energy. It's just clashing all over the place. So we have this, hold on. So let's see what else you guys have. Where is it? Okay, so you have this one, it came up again. So this is really talking about movement into the future 
past the chaos and the clashing. You have, did it come up before? You have the hermit. So the hermit could be referring to basically stepping into your aloneness and your solitude and thinking, looking inward and thinking about things, right? Um, which means stepping away from the other person usually. <sighs> wow. We have the three of pentacles here. I love how that just snuck itself in. Um, there might be a little interference here or a lot interference <clears throat> of a third party situation or thoughts um, possibly, mm, possibly recently. So this is either you or them thinking of other people. It might not be a bad thing. It might just be talking about like wanting to step away and start something new and just like already thinking about it. It could be, so for those of you that were dealing with deceit, that is relevant to you there. Okay, the, wow. Look what kind of, what comes up again. So, you know, like, I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear, but if there's like, this much pain, you know, just really think about things. Um, you have the Eight of Wands. So it's looking like there's movement forward or like communication or a message that really makes a difference. So <clears throat> again, it just looks like movement here. And you have the Strength card and finally the Two of Pentacles. So when the energy moves forward for either you or them or both of you, calmness okay peace and quiet just from everything and this is needed to get there so basically stepping away from that energy and things balancing out and not being like all like up and down all the time okay um that's what i'm getting so far let me get one final card for you here and then i'll recap But I, I think that it's pretty clear, group two, what we're dealing with. You know, also, also keep in mind that this energy is talking about right now. So, you know, I mean, there's always that possibility that one of you or both of you could evolve over time. But this question is really like, are you right for each other? You're a good fit for each other now, right? So let's see if there's anything else. Spirit, are there any other messages you have for group two and their person that they're thinking of? Okay. Group two. So group two, what we have for you, the first card that came up was ask for forgiveness. So it is looking like someone in the connection may have hurt the other person. We have think, wait, we have think first. I think that has a double meaning. I think it means that you have to really think through the situation if you want to continue with the way that things are. And this also has to do with um, gaining clarity. I did mention that before and clarity because of intuition. Now look at this. Wow. The question is, are you right for each other? And then this comes up, change your course. Ooh, so yes, think about that, changing the course. And finally, we have courage. Oh my goodness. So yeah, changing course is going to take a lot of courage. It's always going to. Change is not easy. And it, it is very scary, especially if, you know, you have this, you had this idea for a long time or you were in the situation for a long time. So yes, courage, Okay. All right, group two, that's what I have for you. This was interesting, um, but if you felt it didn't resonate at all, you might have to pick a different group. Um, but that's what I have. I really hope that this gave you clarity, if that this helped. Let me know in the comments what's going on with you. And thank you so much for tuning in and for supporting, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye.
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number three, which is Rose Quartz. So I forgot completely to say in the intro, um, you know, just be careful. You might not like the answer that comes up here, but we'll, we'll take a look, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, so Spirit, this reading is for group three. And the person they're thinking of and if they're a right, if they're a right, a good fit for each other, or if they're right for each other. So this is not necessarily talking about like if this is the person for you, like the one, but it is talking about the present energies if they are a good fit for you, okay? Another thing I forgot in the intro, gosh, even if I write it down, I forget. Just so focused. Spirit, this is for group three. Please provide us with clear guiding messages for group three. And the person they're thinking of. Okay, just one more shuffle here. And we'll get right into the question. Okay, so spirit for group three and the person they're thinking of. Are they right for each other? Are they a good fit for each other? Group three. Oh my gosh. Group three and the person they're thinking of. Are they right for each other? Are they a good fit for each other? What the hell? What a weird mix. Um, I'm very curious now. All right, what's going on? All right, this is weird. This is very weird. Um, there's a layered response here, so it's not yes or no yet. Let's find out. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is an energy of someone or both of the people in the connection working really hard on things, right? So that's, I would say that that's a good thing, but let's find out what energy is attached to that, right? Because you have an even mix here of like positive and negative cards. I don't even know which one, like where to start here, but okay, let's just go in order. So we have the devil energy. So that's either talking about a lot of negativity and darkness or codependency. But then we also have the sun card. That's such a strange contrast. You have light and dark dark and light right there. Um, so the, the sun card is referring to a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, happiness, and see, I am getting an overlap here already. It's an overlap of energy, which is basically showing that it is a little bit of like, a little bit of that codependent energy, which it's not always a bad thing. It's just that it's too, you know, it's, it's too connected. And sometimes there can be a lot of negative stuff attached to it, but we'll find out but there's a lot of happiness here. So a lot of joy that you guys bring to each other, but then you have the eight of swords. See, it keeps like just alternating with these energies. So it can also feel very confining. You know, one person or both might sometimes feel very trapped by things, not by the other person always, but just in general feeling trapped. Um, and yet there's a feeling of success here, a feeling of victory and just like, A feeling of being proud of the connection and then you have the ten of cups so this is really really cool like i mean just intriguing uh so this for some of you you might already be in a family kind of a commitment with this person and some of you i'm seeing that you you know i never really i never really pay attention to certain details but like here um some of you have the children with this person or like there's children involved not all of you obviously but so it's showing that there is a lot of harmony and a lot of success and happiness in that regard, but I'm just wondering what this negative energy is all about. So we're going to take a look. So, so far it's looking like, I mean, we're going to have to clarify, but it, it, I just, it's so evenly split because these two cards have a lot of negative energy attached to them. So let's keep going just to see if it kind of progresses. All right, so Spirit, can you please clarify, can you clarify the Eight of Pentacles? What can you tell us about the Eight of Pentacles? So a lot of effort, you know, a lot of effort that both of you put into the connection and the, into the situation. So again, if, if some of you are like, already living with this person or have a family, um, 
then it's showing that both of you or well yes I, I feel like it's both of you putting a lot of work into things to keep things up and running um again if you're not with this if you're not with this person and you're looking at it hypothetically it's just kind of showing what energies would be there so clarifying the eight of pentacles we have oh look at that we have the four of wands and then we have the ten of pentacles wow so there's a lot of heavy family energy here and having that foundation together. And again, working hard on that. So like, th this is a positive energy for sure. Like, so having that happy family harmony kind of energy, you have three of those so far. So there's like, I'm definitely getting a lot of feelings of abundance here. Um, could be talking about prosperity as well, or just having that security, I think is probably the better word, security. So um, here with the with the four of wands, I just feel like it's very solid. Like it's a very equal give and take. So that, I mean that's always a good thing. So but let's keep going with these other cards. So can you please clarify the devil? So for some of you, I'm getting it's like that phrase like I can't live without the other person, which again might be good or bad. It just depends on the situation, right? Can you please clarify the devil? Why is the devil here? That was kind of funny how that just like jumped right up like that, like a like a dolphin jumping up in the water. Um, okay, so we have the Devil card and clarifying we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Page of Wands. Okay, um, I, what I'm getting from that, I'm sensing that one energy is more mature. Yeah, so one energy is like the Queen of Swords and all about truth and being straight to the point, being very mature and and decisive and being able to get things done and then you have the page of wands who is an energy that is very inexperienced and a bit immature and a little bit scattered and all over the place so i think that that was interesting how these two cards came up. so are you right for each other is kind of just showing like the 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 fit right so here it's looking like so that's clarifying the devil. So let's see. So what I'm getting from that is that one energy here might be... So I, I did say that that word codependent before is a possibility. So it's kind of showing that one energy here might be a little bit too dependent on the other one. So the inexperienced one. Which for the more mature energy in the situation, it might cause a problem. Because it's kind of like that feeling of, oh, well, you know, I have to do everything or I always have to be the one to fix things. And maybe that is where some of that negative energy is coming from. But it's not showing that it's a wrong fit or they, that you guys are wrong for each other. It's just showing that that's part of the conflict, right? Can you please clarify the sun card? So I'm getting that the person who felt trapped sometimes is the queen of swords energy. The one who has this more mature. The sun card. Whoa. <laughs> um, hold on. Um, let's see, so, whoops, clarifying the sun card, hold on, it fell on the floor. Okay, so clarifying the sun card, you have the justice card, and the knight of cups. Okay, so the sun card is showing that the both of you do have a very beautiful balance, actually. So even though, I mean, for some of you, it looks like... The experience part is there, and I'm just wondering if for some of you, the, the more experienced one is older. This might not always be the case, but it that could be a part of it as well. So there's balance. You're, you guys are able to balance each other out, which is nice. Um, and then also clarifying the sun card, you have the Knight of Cups. So there, it's showing a lot of like, there's a lot of feeling here. There's a lot of care, emotion, romance, for sure, with that card. So let's take a look at the next one. Spirit, can you please clarify the Eight of Swords? What can you tell us about the Eight of Swords, Spirit? Eight of Swords. So clarifying the Eight of Swords, we have the King of Swords. So it's looking like, hmm, 
That's weird. Because over here we have the Queen of Swords. Huh. All right, what I'm getting from that is one person here sometimes feels as though this other person in the connection is not quite enough. And I hesitated to say that because I know it sounds kind of harsh. It's, it's like sometimes they want more of the person. They want them to be more mature. They want them to be more honest or clear or just like on point and more on their on their level and matching their level and stuff. Again, there's a lot of happiness here, but that energy where it's not quite syncing up, you know? So like what I said before when I started the this reading is that this is not answering the question about like, is this person the one? Are they like the soulmate or, or whatever? Honestly, that's not what I'm getting um, because it, there's a lot of there's like a lot of mismatch here, but it is showing that you guys are a good fit for each other in the in the current state. So, but that can, you know, that can go either way, right? All right, so can you please clarify? Hmm. Can you clarify the King of Swords? Wow. All right. Um <laughs> So group three, I'm just going to put that out there. Um, I am definitely sensing that the, here's the queen and here's the king of swords. That's the power couple. That's the soulmate card. Um, I don't know what that says for this connection or this potential connection, but it is pretty much showing that on the outskirts of things, there's this other energy that is hovering that is, is more right for this energy. I'm sorry if that's not what you wanted to hear, but that's what I'm seeing. Um, clarifying the King of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yes, so in time, in time, there is going to be that, uh, something coming into, into fruition with that. Spirit, anything else for group three and the person that they're thinking of? Are they right for each other? Are they a good fit for each other? Anything else for group three? What can you tell us? Spirit, what else for group three? And the person they're thinking of, please. Got a big chunk here. Okay, so group three. We also have... Yeah, there's just like... There really is a lot of overlap here. I am getting that one person in the connection is leaning on the other person constantly or frequently, and it's just a little suffocating sometimes. I, I feel like they're not doing it on purpose, by the way. I don't think it's like a controlling thing. I just feel like it's kind of like a crutch feeling. Let's see what else. We have the Hanged Man, the King of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Cups, a lot of cups there, and the Seven of Wands, okay. So this is separate, this over here is separate, and what I'm seeing from this, someone in the connection is going to look at things differently very soon, or already is. They're thinking about letting go or making a sacrifice of, of in some kind of way, okay? And then I think that, um, with the King of Cups, what I'm getting from that is an energy of maturing emotionally is what I'm getting from that. So someone, whoever's thinking about looking at things in a different perspective is maturing emotionally and, and stepping into that truth of that emotion, okay? And so this is basically a soulmate card, right? Or... There's a lot of purity with that card. So yes, um, along with this and coming into truth with the feelings, you have a lot of purity of emotion here. And then you have a feeling of wish fulfillment or moving towards wish fulfillment. And then finally you have the seven, the seven of wands, which is talking about standing up for yourself um, or someone standing up for themselves and fighting for something. Let's get the other deck actually, hold on. Um, I'm 
a little spaced out here. <laughs> I just got completely spaced out. All right, Spirit, what are we going to see here? So, Spirit, what else do you have for Group 3? Any, any other messages for Group 3 and the person they're thinking of? Are they right for each other? Are they a good fit for each other? We have the Three of Wands. Okay, so that, that's what I'm seeing as the energy moving forward. Someone is expanding and just looking in a different direction, basically, is what I'm getting from that. Anything else, Spirit, for Group 3 and the person they're thinking of? Yikes. Okay, so, so group three, you have the devil again, all right? So again, it's just, it just keeps confirming, you know, there, there's this negative and this dark kind of thing attached to this connection. So it's just it's showing like a repetition of some kind of cycles, you know, but, but it's showing that clarity is coming in very soon with this ace of swords. So it's like kind of similar to this energy here with the, um, the hanged man. So being able to have clarity and look at things in a totally different perspective and knowing the truth of your feelings or whether or not this is right for you. But like I said before, you know, there's, there is a lot of happiness here, but it's just, again, it's, there's just something that doesn't quite match, you know? Uh, I want to clarify something for you. Let's see. What do I clarify for you? Let me just get a general. Um, hmm. Well, actually, let's do the hanged man. So, Spirit, can you please clarify the hanged man? Why is the hanged man here? Mm. Clarifying the hanged man, we have the... The Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So I feel that whoever this was, was um, looking at things in a different perspective and thinking about letting something go because of this, because of all the burdens and also because of that person's ability to step into their intuition and know the truth of their feelings. Remember, we had all of those cups, and we also had the king of cups, by the way. So this is really a powerful energy of moving forward because of that realization. All right, um, let's just do one last one, and then I'll get uh, an affirmation word for you. Um, Spirit, is there anything else for group three and the person they're thinking of? Are they right for each other? Anything else for group three, please? Oh, <laughs> um, so this is pretty consistent, you guys, um, pretty consistent because you have the hermit card. So this is showing an energy of basically stepping away into aloneness, thinking about things, you know, reflecting, having introspective thoughts and just really trying to figure things out alone. Okay, so that's again consistent. And then you have the five of swords. So this is kind of giving you a little glimpse into the energies moving forward that it is going to start to be a bit burdensome and there is going to be some conflict probably coming in if there isn't already okay um having to do with a little bit of pettiness or just like you know these little petty battles and conflicts nothing too crazy all right so let's just get a final affirmation card for you guys By the way, I said this in group one, I think. I, I, I always forget to say stuff in the intro, but I am so happy to be back. <laughs> I, feel, I feel completely lost and not grounded without tarot. I was like dying without it. Ugh. Um, Spirit, this is for group three. Any other final messages for group three and their person? Spirit group three. Three. Any other final messages? Any words for group three? Mm -hmm. 
someone here is really like really on point and and aggressive in a in a productive kind of a way because every time i shuffle i'm channeling that energy and sometimes it's like really fast it's just like there's a lot of force here in a, in a good way just like very powerful force by the queen of swords i'm getting from there all right so this is interesting so you have do and harmony <laughs> isn't that a funny combo <laughs> um so with do it's basically just kind of nudging you into action you know, do and move and just go, like correct things and just harmony, you know? So if you don't feel harmony in your life now, it's telling you to move towards that. Um, or just like in general, it's, it's speaking of harmony. So it could be also just speaking of future energies coming in and having that harmony. All right, you guys. So group three, if this didn't resonate at all, feel free to pick a different group, but this is what I have. Let me know in the comments if this did resonate and what your situation is, because it's pretty interesting. I, I haven't quite seen a reading like this. So again, it's not speaking of like the whole soulmate aspect. I mean, although it did kind of show you guys that it is just showing in the present moment, if you guys are right for each other, if it's a good fit. Like I said, a lot of happiness here, but there's also a lot of, there is a lot of pain. There's con being restricted, um, one person relying too heavily on the other one emotionally and just not quite being on the same page, not being on the same wavelength. But interestingly, you guys' future popped up here. I wasn't anticipating that, but it is showing that there's someone else. If you are the Queen of Swords, um, whoever this is, it's showing that there is a better, like a person on their wavelength, kind of on the outskirts, like I said. A lot of wish fulfillment there and just like this soulmate energy, like I said, and clarity is coming in very soon for one or both of you. Okay, group three, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that this helped and gave you some clarity. Thank you for um, supporting my channel and I will see you in the next reading. Bye. Hmm. <sighs> Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number four, which is Magnesite. Okay, so um, let's get right into your reading. Um, yes, it's are you right for each other? Are you a good fit for each other? This is not really talking about, you know, is this person the one? It's just asking sort of more in the present, you guys' energy and if you're a good fit for each other, okay? Um, keep in mind as well, you might not like the answer, so just be cautious of that because... You know, I, I don't candy coat things. Spirit, this reading is for group number four. Ah, already I see something going on here with the shuffling. Let's see. Um, Spirit, this is for group four and the person they're thinking of. And if they're a good fit or if they're right for each other. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group four and the person they're thinking of. All right. 
spirit for group four and the person they're thinking of, are they right for each other? Are they a good fit for each other? Peace spirit. Group four, are they right for each other? Hmm. Group four and their person. Okay, that explains that. All right, I see I did kind of foreshadow there with the shuffling. Um, I, I did feel a little bit of a clash already, but we'll see, we'll see what happens here. So the very first card that you have is the Ten of Swords. Ooh, bit of a painful start there, but it could also be referring to the ending of a cycle of pain. So we'll all the other cards will tell us about that interesting start. We also have the High Priestess. So someone here is becoming very, very intuitive and knowing the answers or things are coming into light. Things are coming to the surface that were hidden prior. We have the Page of Swords. See? Clarity. Okay, so sort of like these new beginnings of clarity and truth and knowing. Ooh, my goodness, you have the devil card. A lot of darkness there. Could be codependency, could be just, yeah, like a little bit of just heaviness. And then you have the death card, wow. Okay. So this is basically just saying that there is quite a bit of pain and darkness attached here. And the death card, now that could be talking about some, like both of you having a new beginning and a rebirth um, away from each other or in the relationship or in the connection. So let, let's see, this is a very interesting start. Spirit, what else do you have for group four and the person they're thinking of? Are they right for each other? Are they a good fit for each other? Group four, please. Okay, so you also have the Knight of Swords. So this could be talking about really fast movement away from something or just like impulsivity as well. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. So that's talking about a lot of battles here, right? So it could be a lot of fighting and conflict, but let's see. I'm not getting for all of you that you've had conflict and fighting with the person. I just feel like your situation has been quite exhausting. See, you have the two of pentacles. So there's been a lot of juggling and stress and think too many things being up in the air or on your plate and just a lot of that going on. You have the magician card here. Um, that's an interesting one to have underneath the devil. Hold on. What else? Spirit, what else for group four? Are they... Oh, okay. So the... Whew, I am feeling this. Um, what the hell? Uh, the most... The strongest energy that I'm getting for you... I can't even talk straight right now. Um, the strongest energy I'm getting for you is complete exhaustion. Like, this is insane. I, I feel it. I feel its heaviness... In particular with the nine, well, the ten of swords, then the nine of wands, and then the devil. Like, I feel a very, very heavy, heavy energy here. So it feels like you guys have been just, it's been, this has been for a long time. Like, burnout, my god. Um, we also have the, the hanged man. So something has to be let go of. So this is leaning towards a no, okay? I mean, obviously, right? Like, are you right for each other? Are you a good fit for each other? It's looking like a no because there's just so much pain and heaviness attached to this. So you have the death card, um, a rebirth here. And like that surrender or that sacrifice, something has to happen. Now, again, I'm getting a sense that this is not quite it, the full explanation. There might be something still in the works here so i'm going to tell you in a second because look see you have the two of cups see isn't that weird how i just said that and then it, and it turned into something very different so a lot of pain and darkness but i did mention that it might be talking about the ending of a painful cycle right and with the devil card you do still have lovers on the card so there's like this intense bond but what i'm getting is that the both of you might be struggling with your own inner darkness so see how it kind of 
like I was trying to keep it as open as possible and it did shift a bit. Um, and I was just a little suspicious. I didn't get automatically that it was like, boom, no, it just, it's just that it's a complicated situation. And so with the death card, definitely an ending of a cycle coming in soon after all of the tiredness, someone here is manifesting something really hard. I'm not sure what it is yet. We'll see. Um, but here, this is a really strong soul connection. Now this is confirming the seven of cups is basically confirming that there's been a lot, a lot going on and a lot of fog, distraction, confusion, not being able to see anything clearly. Wow, look at this. Oh, all right. So we have the Queen of Cups. A little bit of a clash there. The Knight of Swords is an energy of like uh, impulsive, yeah, so impulsive, young Im and immature energy. And then you have the Queen of Cups who is more mature and more spiritual and more like sensitive and quiet, graceful. So it's a little bit of a clash. Um, however, we have the Four of Wands here, which is another kind of soul card, right? So there's a lot of passionate, deep love going on here, right? Again, just a lot of pain and heaviness attached to it. So whether this is like a twin flame connection where, and by the way, you guys are the first one that I said that word, you know, that, that term. So this, if this is a twin flame connection, that makes perfect sense to me because twin flame connections are a freaking mess, you know? Um, so then we have the three of cups. So it, either this is referring to interference with a third party, or it could just be talking about um, an energy of friendship. So this might be talking about having been friends first or in between or later, like it's just kind of jumbled, like meaning it's like an on and off kind of a thing, right? It could be talking about that. We have the page of pentacles. So um, someone is manifesting stability and clarity and just wanting to stop being so up and down. And then we have the fool, see? Fresh start, fresh energy all in the same line. We have the death card, which is rebirth. We have the hanged man, which is sacrificing, letting go and looking at something in a different perspective. And then we, it comes in with the fool. Good, fresh, clean energy, which is a relief because this is a lot, a lot of stuff going on there. Spirit, what, um, what else for group four and the person they're thinking of? Are they right for each other? Are they a good fit for each other? Whoa, okay. Someone is very energetic here. Someone is very, just like, very forceful with their energy. Not in a bad way, just like very in your face. <clears throat> See, look at that. Woo. See, when I said heavy, a lot of you, this is a twin flame connection where you need to go through all of this chaos and all of this like shattering of your past foundations to get to the other side. Some of you, if, if that's not resonating with you, you know, don't try to, you know, make it fit. But uh, if you feel it is a twin flame connection, that's what I'm sensing. Now, if this is not a twin flame connection and you know it, I think that the answer is pretty clear that while there is deep feelings here, it's just, again, a lot of chaos, a lot of darkness and heaviness. So just be, be very wary of that. Um, we also have the Hierophant. So, um, right next to the the two so some of you it this is referring to a marriage or a long-term commitment i don't know if that means that you're already in one but it's showing that it's like it takes a deeper turn so it takes a deeper more committed turn there with that card we also have we also have the queen of wands hmm this one might be talking about the interference for some of you again not it's not going to resonate for everyone but i am getting that for um a hand you know a, a portion of you there's interference with like <clears throat> like a different um attractive feminine energy there it might not necessarily be infidelity it just might be distraction but i am sensing that there is an outer you know there, there's like an outside kind of influence there and you have the the four the four of swords so someone here takes, okay, so this is happening after the tower. So I think that both of you or one of you is taking time to rest, to look at things in a different perspective again, right? And to kind of just regroup, regather your composure, you know, um, or regain your composure. 
and then you have success. So this is this is really really interesting because in the beginning I was like, all right, where is this going? It seemed like a rough start, but I'm glad I just you know just keep going with it. And if you're if you're still watching this, you know, because some people just are like, ah, I don't want to hear this. But it's showing a lot of success moving forward, which is very nice. And you have the wish fulfillment card. Okay, so success, wish fulfillment, and like, and again, I'm getting a lot of harmony. So this is really good. All right, let's see what else. But it definitely was showing present clashing and present um, conflict. There's just so much going on here. Um, Spirit, what else can you tell us for group four and their, the person they're thinking of? Are they right for each other? Are they a good fit for each other? Spirit, group four and the person they're thinking of. Are they right for each other? Are they a good fit for each other? See, this is really clunky. Like, you see how the cards are coming up? So right now, just for right now... The energy is clunky and just not, yeah, not smooth. There's clashing all over the place. It's like bumper cars. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. Um, Ace of Swords, clarity coming in, which is great because there's some confusion here. You have, where, where did it go? Wait, you guys didn't have it. Okay, well, I mean, you had, oh, wait, no, no, my bad. So you do have it. Fool came up again. So very soon, right, I'm getting that the energy is already in the works of a new beginning, a fresh start, which is very nice. You have the another high priestess. So the energies are basically working behind the scenes here to correct it and um, to show one or both of you the truth of the matter of things. This is really powerful stuff. You have another nine of cups. So this is an incredibly fulfilling connection. So there's just like a lot of happiness surrounding it, a lot of fulfillment that you feel, that both of you probably feel. Knight of Pentacles, see? That's nice. It gave us a little bit of timing there. This is going to take a while. A lot of patience is needed, um, but it's a committed thing. It's a long-term thing. So this could be even talking about, again, friendship, um, Taking things seriously in terms of friendship, I, I'm definitely getting that. Like having a, a, a you know a, a foundation of trust and trust, friendship, and support specifically is attached to you guys' connection moving forward. Oh my, you have the three of swords. See, that was part of that heartbreak over there. That that pain. Um, I wonder who. I mean. I'm going to clarify that for you. That's an interesting one. And then you have the seven of pentacles. Okay. So again, speaking of patience, things coming into fruition and putting a lot of hard work into it. Okay. All right. So spirit, can you please clarify the three of swords? What can you tell us about the three of swords? So whoever was hurt in the connection, it's showing that they're finally healing from that. Okay. Three of Swords, Spirit. Okay. Oh my God. Spirit, you are like really on point. The, th the Three of Cups came up again. So this here had to do, for a lot of you, with the third party thing. Again, if it's not resonating, because if, you, if it's a third party thing, all right, for those of you, you know about it. So if that's how it resonates for you, all right, take it as that. But if it's not that for the rest of you, it means that the friendship ended. You guys' friendship ended. But a lot of pain there involving that third party uh, interference, which again, you knew about. Um, and then you had the Page of Wands. Again, another new beginning, a lot of passion there. And movement forward stronger than it was before, like threefold from what it was before and the two of wands okay so finally being able to look into the future with a cleaner path with a clear purpose focus and just like a lot more fortune and again a lot more wish fulfillment i'm getting a lot of wish fulfillment from this card um just just feeling so much honestly just feeling so much better about things and feeling more hopeful 
about things. So it is looking like, um, for, for a lot of you, I feel like you were in separation from this person for a while. That's what it's looking like. Um, hmm. But then pretty much the, the strongest energy here is that there was a lot of deep love, deep soul uh, feelings, uh, twin flame energy, really powerful stuff here. A lot of chaos, a lot of heaviness, a lot of back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Just like exhausting. Remember I said over here, exhaustion and, and, and pain, right? Um, and again, part of the, another of the strongest energies is, is basically returning, rebirth, new beginnings, fresh starts all over the place. It's, it's just, so if you're not in communication with this person, it, it's looking like you're, that there's going to be a resurfacing of that. Anything else spirit for group four, anything else at all that you want to tell us? Okay. See, I told you, like, it's that Knight of Swords energy that's very impulsive and forceful. Just, you know, because the way that the cards are shooting out like that. Um, so we have the Ten of Wands. So we're looking at, again, the ending of a cycle of burdens. <sighs> yes, I feel it. It's very heavy. Um, really, really made me just like, bleh, right? So it's so heavy. Um... I'm getting the heaviness more on the side of the less mature person. So this could be the runner. Again, that doesn't resonate for all of you if it's not a twin flame thing, but there's a lot of heaviness here. And King of Pentacles, someone matured here. Mm -hmm. Someone matured. I feel like it's the... Whoever was the lesser mature person here has, has turned into like this energy of being clearer, more stable, uh, more secure, even could be talking about their wealth and finances, like just feeling better about things and just being more mature as a person and, and, and spiritually um, after all of the fighting. A lot of battles over time, a lot of battles. Um, I feel like this, the third party thing, um, kind of crumbled apart because of all of the fighting and just not listening to intuition right? That's for many of you. So the, this person, whoever this is, right, didn't listen to their gut intuition and it just wasn't right for them. Wow. <sighs> okay. Let's just get a final affirmation card for you guys. Any final messages for group four and the person they're thinking of? Group four and the person they're thinking of. Okay, so the first card that you got is pay attention to the signs. So one more time, if this is a twin flame, you know it. You very much know it and there's signs all over the place. You have the card ending. See, the ending of all of these cycles. You had many cards for endings and then therefore rebirth. And then the last card you have is question. Hmm. Question. That's interesting. So for a lot of you, this could be just talking about a, um, a specific question that you've had floating around in your mind for a while about the connection. So whether it is your question was actually am I crazy here? Like, is this real? Is this like, you know, if, is what I'm feeling real? Are they feeling it? Could be for a lot of you. Um, if it's not that, um, it could be like, are they coming back? You know, whatever it is. So this question has been on your mind and what it's saying with all of this is that it's going to be answered very, very soon. I have to get something for you. Wait, I didn't do this for the other groups, but I am feeling very called to get you a number some number for you guys let's see yeah this is a little pop quiz question here hold on my tiny playing cards hold on okay so spirit can you please provide group four with a number for when their question will be answered what is the number 
three. So this is talking about either, you know, I wish I could help you with more specific, but three days, three weeks, or three months, not three years. So this is talking about when things will be answered for you, or it could just be simply talking about like the third of the month, but I, three, whatever this means for you, it's different for all of you guys, but in terms of that clarity, three is very special for you, okay? Whew, yeah, you guys, this was a powerful batch here, um, group four. This, this was probably the strongest energies of all of the groups today. Okay, so um, group four, that's what I have for you. If this didn't resonate at all, feel free to pick a different group, but that's what I have. I hope that this helped and gave you some clarity. Let me know in the comments what's going on with you guys. I'm sorry I haven't been as responsive uh, with the comments, but I read all of them. So that's what I have. I hope that this helped um, and gave you, you know, something to think about. And let me know about this. And if you do get this clarity. So this is really cool, you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in and for supporting my channel. And I will see you in the next reading. Bye.